How is it called? Six aside game? So six aside, five aside. Okay, okay. Yeah, we call it a little bit different. The smaller sided games are a very important part of training in general. It's something you use often. It's part of our uh, week plan. The benefit to training in the smaller spaces is because you don't keep time to the players to think. It's a lot about automatism and, and uh, find uh, the right decision without a lot of thinking. Fast decision, I think, is the, the one of the most important things. Uh, decision under pressure. Um, always decide with the, with the less touch they, they, they can decide at that moment. But football is not play one touch, play two touches, or play drive the ball or make a dribbling. So football is play the right decisions in the right moment. Sometimes you have to take two touches, but sometimes one, sometimes dribbling, sometimes you have to take six touches. So every single action is completely different. It's not the key point. <laughs> Players enjoy small-sided games a lot. It's probably their, their, their um, preferred session, I would say, because it's, it's proper competitive. It's a small space. It's a lot of shooting, a lot of finishing. Um, it's all what they are. They are all good in that as well. Maybe not all of them, but most of them are really good in that, and so they, they love it. And if I would ask at the beginning of the week, what do you want to do today, then um, probably a lot of players would say, um, yeah, let's play five a side. They enjoy more when um, it's part of the, the small games with the, the normal post or with the post. So if one guy is, is not good enough, you can feel it immediately. And that is the reason why I think it's, it's also good for the commitment of the team. In a football game with all the modern defending, the spaces become smaller and smaller and smaller. I'm pretty sure they enjoy two small games in smaller spaces. Even the, the body language, the communication about his teammates is much better because they are closer, they feel closer when in bigger spaces. I think they all enjoy it. I'm not sure if it's a 100% favorite game of Virgil van Dijk, but um, because he's pretty much as big as the pitch. There are a lot of players who always love the, 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 the smaller games because um, they're not so far distance to run. Uh, but uh, it's something also like a quality uh, from some players uh, in a smaller space. They have more quality than others and sometimes have problems to transform the, the quality on the, on the bigger pitch. We play each other in the training sessions and one team beat the other one. Sometimes they're happier to beat the opponent because they love to win his mates, you know, after that in the locker room and some of that they love. That is the point. So at the end, is a, is, this is a jungle and they have to compete between them and, uh, and they are desperate, you know, to be part of the team and that's why they have to be better than the, the other ones. But in these games, it's really important that you, as a, as a manager, as a coach, that you make good decisions in your role as a referee, because um, if not, yeah, it can become quite emotional.